Okay, so what we got going on here is that I've got two issues I need to tend to. One is the CMOS battery. So we're gonna go through, we got four internal hard drives sitting inside of this machine, and there we go. Our time of day not set, please run setup program. So what we're gonna do here is gonna hit the F2 key, and then we're gonna jump right to our date time. And as you can tell, it is 2019, not 2024. We're going to replace the CMOS battery. That joker is hard to, this system got a drink spilled on it a long time ago by my son uh, while he was, uh, had my granddaughter over here and they was watching a movie and he had his drink sitting up yonder and he spilled it or she spilled it. Anyway, somebody spilled it. So, but anyway, that's the CMOS battery. That's what is bad. If you ever get a warning that lets you know that your time is wrong, that means that your CMOS battery is dead and you're gonna have to replace your CMOS battery. And so in laptops, this is what they look like. I got this one right here off Amazon and uh, I needed one next day. I could have got one with the same length wire as the, the black one right there. And this one right here has got a two and a half inch wire on it or three, it looks like about almost three inches of wire. But anyway, this part right here is a pain to get in, Yana, but I'm gonna speed through this part right here. And so, yeah, the magic of editing. The battery is a little bit thicker than the original battery. The bottom of the case is bulged out just a tiny bit. So this battery is thicker than the original battery. That's pretty much all. I mean, it's, it's that simple. I mean, this system does pretty good. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've had it for about five years, I think, because my granddaughter was two when she spilt the drink. So she's six now. And so I had about a year or so before, before she spilt the drink. Um, I can't remember exactly when. I had to check out the other video that I've got. But anyway, so I'm putting the battery back inside the system and uh, then we're gonna put it back up onto our base, which is right there. I've got uh, three external monitors hooked up to that, plus a bunch of um, um, hard drives sitting over on the side that are also hooked up to it. See, whenever the battery dies, uh, the CMOS battery dies, it resets everything. As you can tell, the, the, uh, the keyboard is missing from the laptop. That happened from the spilling of the drink. We're gonna come over here, we're gonna change our time. And it's gonna be 3.08, I think it is, or 3.09. I did this yesterday, so I'm talking over it today. I'm narrating it today. So we gotta go in here and make sure that the virtualization is still enabled. So a lot of stuff stayed. Uh, even though the battery was dead, um, a lot of the settings did stay, which was great. So the invalid partition table. So what happened here is that since the CMOS battery died, it lost all the settings. So right here, we're gonna uncheck them three bottom ones because they're not needed. And now right here, we're gonna change it to UEFI. And as you can see up top, we got Windows Boot Manager. So that lets us know that we are in the right place and that we will be good for a reboot. And whenever you get a double flash of your Dell, that lets you know that you're ready to go. So Windows is getting ready to boot right now. That's what you need to do is you need to replace your CMOS battery and that's how you do it. And then that's how you reset everything so that you can get back up and going. I am Wayne Barron for Dark Effect Studios. Have a good one now. Bye-bye.